everybody. It's Mike from White Turtle Adventures. Well, 2020 hasn't started out as planned, so I've had to make a few small adjustments here. One of the programs that I was planning on offering this year was an open house to celebrate Patterson Photography and First Choice Photos 35th anniversary. I've had a number of people ask me about the White Turtle, so I thought that this would be a great time to show it to everybody. But with the COVID lockdown, it doesn't look like that is going to happen. So instead of having an in-person viewing, I decided that I would do up a video about the build and where the White Turtle 3 is at now. So sit back, grab yourself some popcorn, and watch this short little video. One of the first things that people ask me is, where did the term White Turtle come from? Well, many years ago, I picked myself up a very nice truck and camper. And while we were out driving one day, one of my boys said to me, it's just like a turtle. We have our home on our back, and it's white, so we should call it the White Turtle. And so the White Turtle line of vehicles was born. The first one was a 1992 Northern Light truck camper put on a 2002 GMC pickup truck. It would go anywhere as I wanted it to. It was a beautiful vehicle. The only issue was with my health, I could not go from the front to the back, so it created a few problems moving my gear from the front to the back and the back to the front every time I wanted to stop or to get up in the morning and to go someplace. So I soon got rid of that after several years of enjoying it and improvements, and I bought myself a motorhome, which was a 19-foot majestic motorhome. It was perfect in that I could go from the front to the back. It had everything that I could possibly want with it. The only issue was it was wider than what I wanted. So after driving that for a few trips, I decided that this wasn't going to work, so I went about searching for my next vehicle, which was going to be a van. In November of 2017, I took delivery of a 2017 Ford Transit, and I started my build. I'm not going to go really in depth into what I did, but I insulated it, and then I started to build up from there. I put in some wiring, I put in a bed, I put in a bathroom. I did just a few little extra things that I wanted, more for myself than for what an RV maker would make. I wanted something that was functional, that was enjoyable, and that I could use in whatever weather conditions that I wanted to go out in. And I ended up with exactly what I wanted. I built most of it out of wood, so it's nice and light. I put a furnace in it, it has a fridge in it, it has a bed in it has a stove that I can take from the inside to the outside and it functioned exactly as I wanted it to. The nice thing was being a van it was narrower than what the RV was and the great thing with it is I could go from the front to the back whenever I wanted to. I added some electrical wiring in it so that the furnace and the fridge are on its own battery system. It can be plugged in if I want to so that I can charge the batteries up. But the nice thing is, is that it will also charge while I'm driving. So I don't have to worry about a solar panel on the top. And I don't have to worry about all the little extras that a lot of RVs have like a power station and everything. I built a small bathroom in it so that when I go places I don't have to worry if there's a bathroom there or not. And I have all the luxuries of home that I would want to take with me. I have a lot of storage space in the van, enough to carry both my kayaks and a lot of my photography equipment and other supplies. I did a lot of little modifications after the initial build. It actually takes longer to do the little things than it does to do the big build. Things like sunscreens in the window and vents and other little small things I added. I wanted to make it as functional as possible, but at the same time I didn't want to make it too luxurious that I would never want to take it anywhere. The nice thing about this is that I can bounce around on dirt roads, I can drive it down the pavement, I can do whatever I want, and it lasts really well and it drives really well, and I don't have to worry about breaking the RV stuff in the back. After using it for a little while, I didn't want to put a window in the side of it, but I found that in the summertime with the bugs, it just got a little bit too hot. So I took it in and I had a side window put into it. These are really cool windows. They're actually a double pane window. Uh, the window itself has a slider that goes up and down 
The one slider is for a screen so that when it slides down, you have a screen on the window. The second slider slides up, and when it's slid up all the way, you actually have a sunscreen on the window so people can't see in. It also pops wide open so that it lets a lot of fresh air in, or you can hand stuff from the inside to the outside. And with the vent that I have at the back, this thing will cool the van down in almost no time in the evening. I like the van. I used it quite a bit. I found it was very functional for what I wanted. But late in 2019, I decided that I had to do something else to the van. So after banging it around and moving stuff and using it for what it was designed for, I decided that I wanted to get one more storage cabinet built into it. And if I was going to build the storage cabinet into it, I decided that I was going to put a sink in it as well. So after some research and some driving around and visiting some friends that build vans, I decided that I would put in a small sink and just two water bottles, one with fresh water and one with waste water so that I could easily pull them out and put them in when I wanted to and that there was no really winterizing of the van required. I could put the bottles in if it was 35 below. I could drive out and as long as I kept the heat on in the van, everything would stay thawed. And then if I wanted to, I could come back home, take them out and the van would be winterized. I did fall in love with my sink very quickly, and I do like having running water. So let's take a look at the final product, my cabin on wheels as I call it. It is fully finished as far as I can see at this time. Um, it has everything in it that I want. It hauls my kayaks and my bicycle. I can actually charge my bicycle battery while I'm driving. It is an electric bicycle. It carries my chairs, it carries all my food that I need. It has literally everything that a cabin would have and even a little bit more. I used an old light of my dad's and I wired it into the 12 volt system. I put bug screen on the back so that I can leave the two back doors open and let lots of air in. I cleaned up the, all the wiring and everything so that I can charge while I'm driving down the road as I mentioned before. Um, I love having a power so that wherever I pull off, I let, have lots of storage. This was actually, I was going to put some cupboards in here or actually some drawers in here, but I found it was a perfect spot to put my camera equipment in when I was driving or when it was at night. It has smoke detector, CO2 detector, has a roof vent in it. Uh, the roof vent is cool. It can actually stay up while I'm driving or even while it's raining has lots of storage. I have more storage than I could ever use. Uh, this is my food slash cooking cupboard. It has a pull-out drawer on the bottom. The drawer itself is just so I can access some of the stuff at the back. It locks in while I'm driving. Um, it works out really well except when I'm trying to get something while I'm driving. So I have to learn to get the stuff out of there before I hit the road. Um, I have the top shelf and the bottom shelf with little lights on it so that I can see at night what's in there. I have a fridge, I have a furnace, um, I have everything that I could possibly want to stay healthy and happy on the road. Uh, my stove is put away here, it actually pulls out and it'll sit up onto the counter so I can cook or I can take it outside to cook which is something that I wanted to do. It has little propane bottles so that I can move it wherever I want it to. It's a 12 volt fridge, has a freezer in it, but the freezer actually pulls out so I can have an even bigger fridge if I want to. Well, so that's my little turtle number three. I hope you've enjoyed the little visit to it, and I hope that I'm out on the road pretty soon and enjoying it. So take care, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.